You guys, hello, happy Thursday. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, we're headed to 800 Degrees Pizza in the Epic Kitchens Ghost Kitchen. Very, very excited. And today, we want to do a little shout out for our Cameo page. Don't forget, if you guys are looking for shout outs uh, from us, you can go to our Cameo page, cameo.com forward slash Number Six with Cheese, and we'll be more than happy to do a shout out for you or one of your loved ones for any such occasion. Uh, just go ahead and check it out. It's an awesome little tool we got. Absolutely, and now pizza, get in our faces, let's go. All right, this is one of the carne pizzas from 800 degrees acquired jump cut. All right, let's pop the top. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, let's see what we got. Look at that. Wow, that looks pretty good. Um, okay, so this is the carne pizza from 800 Degrees. We've got Italian sausage, all natural pepperoni, and uh, smoky bacon on here. The holy trifecta. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. All right, 800 Degrees. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. 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 Wow. This is way better than I expected it to be. Me too. I thought it was gonna be more like a kind of like um, like a fast food pizza where yeah me too like that that was gonna be bad that was, I thought it was always gonna be average this is actually really good this is really good I mean so much cheese the meat is plentiful giving you the cheese and the sprinkle of the red pepper this is fantastic yeah the bacon bite I had was really good it's like actual bacon strips or something right yeah there. rip up this kind of reminds me of like an old school Pizza Hut pan pizza yeah. mixed with like a little bit of Domino's. That old school Pizza Hut pan pizza is exactly what I was thinking of, the crust. Yeah. It's like airy and crispy. The crust is amazing. It's like an old school Pizza Hut pan pizza. Yeah. A little less greasy and a lot better ingredients. This is really good. And this was, for local pizza, 14 inch, this was like 14 bucks after everything. I think this is a pretty damn good price for Chicago. It's unreal. This Epic Kitchens has not missed yet. No. Burger Fi was fire. Mm -hmm. Blue Ribbon Chicken, Fried chicken yeah. was nuts. And then they got this. Looks like the only ones we haven't done are Poke Works, which are, those are Poke Bowls, right? Yeah, so I will not be doing that. And then what's that blue uh, bottom right one? Looks kind of like a puzzle. I think that's the Epic uh, Kitchens logo. Oh, okay. Man, they've got some... There's nothing else in there. The only other, they have like a snack thing. Yeah. Where you can get like, it looks like prepackaged, delicious looking cookies, but there's no other like act, like meal type of place, I don't mm. think, other than the Poke. They have a great lineup in there. This place is awesome. I am really impressed by this 800 grit pizza. Me too. This is the most ideal type of pepperoni to me. Old school, old world cuppy ones. Mm hmm. And cooked and crunchy to perfection. I like them cuppy. <laughs> cuppy. The cuppy ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this dog. Mm hmm. Looks like the dog I almost rescued, like before, like years before I got Lionel when I was way too young to adopt a dog. It was one I went and looked at named Tony, and they didn't give him to me because I was like a kid out of college. It was like one of those like foster Smart. places that like really vets it. It was probably for the best. Yeah, their sauce is good too. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this pizza. This is fantastic. And that price point is ridiculous. It's great. This is cheaper than a Papa John's pizza. Yeah, right. And it's so much better. Actually, this is cheaper than a Pizza Hut pizza. For like three meats like this, for this size, I think that would a Pizza Hut be 15 bucks. Mm, I'm impressed. Like look at this little bacon. I know. Mm. Oh, bro, that's some crunchy bacon, dude. Look at how big this, like, everything on here. These are big chunks of meat. They ain't playing around with the toppings. No. Are you going to do another slice? I'm probably not going to take any of this home, so I probably will have at least a couple more bites mm -hmm. of another. I'm, like, pretty full from our day of filming. Yeah. But this is, like, good good. Like, I'm I'm a fan. I'm Yeah, I... I'm very impressed by this. And I like that they didn't, like, they gave us all that Parmesan and the crushed reds. Mm-hmm. Without asking, I don't know, I like that touch. Me too. I like being able to add that, having the option. Me too. Can't uh, burn bones in there, you know. What do you mean? 800 degrees ain't enough. Takes 1500 degrees oh. to turn human bones into ash. Jesus, I didn't know that, but now I do. <laughs> that's, that's a Corey Wagner fact right there. That's creepy that you knew that so well and you said it so weird. Just watch the movie Nobody. Okay, I was gonna say, why is that so top of mind? Remember when you said en passant, like it was just something that you just knew? Well, I, I had watched it was like Queen's Gambit. Something. I had watched Queen's Gambit, yeah. Exactly, yeah, but you said it like it was something you, that's kind of what I just did. I was like, it kind of made it seem like, well, Corey just knows you how much did. it takes to burn bone. But no, that's not the case. I don't just know that. Okay, that's. I'm glad it's attributed to something. You're not just a psychopath. What's this guy doing over here? Is he yelling at his dog? He's got a blunt and he just told his dog, hey bro, you can't be doing that. 
That dog's coat is awesome though. That's like a and that dog got up and didn't care. He's like, sorry dad, my bad. This is so Pizza Hut 90s to me. I feel like I'm in a time machine right now, eating pizza. It's that crust. I can't get over like how I gave this place not enough of a respect. Yeah, I was so Based right on the be. photos. Yeah. It looks so average. Oh, I, the photos of the pizza online? Even there, I thought it looked pretty average. <laughs> It was like, looks good, nothing like, it didn't look like the most fantastic thing in the world. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to, uh, actually I'm too lazy. I was gonna say I'm gonna put these photos on the edit. Uh huh. To make you look like a fool. But I'm feeling pretty lazy about it. I thought I'll the photos. I'll back myself up and just show them. I thought the photos looked not average. I thought they looked like, oh that looks like good pizza. But then my head is thinking like, well yeah, every place's photos look great. There's something about the branding that made me think it was gonna be like. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Too. It was just like, I don't know. I don't know what the word is. Like, it was just gonna be average. It kind of looks like a little marketing-y. Or like, it doesn't look like a pizza place. It looks like a place like, I don't know, there's something about their logo and their branding that doesn't scream like, good food to me. No, it's, you know what it screams what to I, me? Hmm. National chain. Okay. A national chain to me usually means, oh, this isn't gonna be a great, it's gonna be a good pizza. Yeah. But it's not gonna be this good of pizza. Where this really actually tastes more like a mom and pop quality pizza to me. You bringing up those fire ass pictures to show them? Yeah, I googled 800 degrees. Um. Google? Bro, you want pictures, you gotta go on Instagram, dog. This is 2022. Why don't you go ask Jeeves next? <laughs> I'm gonna go, that's gonna be my new thing. I'm just gonna <laughs> ask, ask Jeeves. Jeeves. Okay, so like, here's this pizza, right? Like, that looks fine to me. It looks very promo imagey, and like, it doesn't look bad, it just, that, I don't look at that and go, oh, give me a pizza. What? Isn't that weird? I don't, that looks like very okay. Bro, look at those giant ingredients and like, those aren't even, those don't even look like pepperonis, they look like the Italian version, where it's like all... Soprasada? Damn, it went away. Um, I still stand wild, by, bro. I still stand by that it oh, looks yeah, okay. Yeah, well you, if the words come out your mouth, you're not gonna double back and say <laughs> I misspoke. Look at this one. Bro, you... Looks okay. <laughs> bro, you look okay, bro. Oh, I, yeah, How I know. Dare you say I'm it? not arguing I that. How dare you say that about this beautiful thing? It looks okay. Uh, yeah, I question your mind. ability to, to understand beauty at this point, bro. Uh, Maybe bro, I'm just a bad judge of it. Those pictures are fire to me. I was literally having a tough time figuring out what pizza to order because I was like, these all look amazing. Regardless, um, they won because yeah. I think it's fantastic and spoiler, it's going to get a great score. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, well, before we go ahead and score this pizza here on number six, which is today, let's go ahead and get the likes up on this video, huh? Click it whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, like it, subscribe to the channel. We're here every single weekday, and you can see all those videos if you're also a patron. So on Fridays, we have a little crew of Patreon people, $10 and up, they get to see our videos every single Friday. So sign up for that, or just watch the free ones, <laughs> Monday through Thursday, whatever you're into. Um, what would be a good comment for the folks today? Everybody remembers the like 90s Pizza Hut thing, back when there's personal pizzas and Book It was a big thing. Like, what were your thoughts on old school vintage Pizza Hut? Like, did you love it? Just reminisce. Let's, just, let's reminisce. Just, just reminisce in the comments. Yeah, that's all I really want. Doesn't even need to like, answer a question. Just talk about let's it. Let's just chat. Just, we're just gonna chat about Any it. Any random thoughts, you can reply to other people's thoughts. That, that'll be what we do. Mm -hmm. It's a nostalgic Pizza Hut chat today. That's right. On this local place. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, let's go ahead and rate this thing. Uh, out of five, 800. Um, how about out of five pay phones? Remember, okay. the, remember those? How many pay phones do you give the 14-ish dollar carne, 800 degrees pizza out of Epic Kitchen's Cory. Okay, I'm surprised at how much I love this. This flavor is really good. The texture is perfect. It is, it's like the exact type of crust that I really like. Yeah. The ingredients were fran fantastic. And I think the big thing driving this home is that freaking price point. Like, I mean, you guys hear all the time whenever we eat Chicago pizza, it's always double this price. It's like $30 pizzas is the norm. We say that all the time, we're like, Oh, this is a $33 pizza, but that's kind of what you gotta expect to pay in Chicago, which now that we found a place that this was 14, 15 bucks, yeah. that's unbelievable. I'm not, I, I like wouldn't normally go this high on a score for like now the flavor is really great. I'm not it would but it wouldn't be as high as I'm about to go, but that price point price, really takes it to the next level. Dude, for Chicago, this is a five. I'm going five because I don't think you can get like in price uh the uh, PPP on this, the price per piece, mm -hmm. is just unbelievable. Yeah. I love the ghost kitchen thing. I love how quick it was ready. Ordering's fantastically easy. Pizza came out piping hot, amazing. It came with packets. You didn't have to ask for crusher pepper and cheese. Um, it's not a, the price is, the price gives it like the top score it can get. I'm only taking a little bit of points off because it's not, to me, it's not like the perfect pizza for $15. Like, I liked it, but it wasn't, 
perfect. It's not the perfect pizza for me either. I don't want people to think I think it's the perfect pizza. I just think this is the, I'm a cheap bastard. This mm -hmm. is, I'm not, there's no way I'm gonna find a better pizza than this, even anywhere near this price point. That's so true. just so that's clear, that's I don't true. want anybody. To, I don't want anybody to get this and think, well, of course this is perfect pizza. True. Because a five is hard to give out. So I just want to clarify, I'm not. True. This is for poor people. I'm gonna go 4.6. I damn, I loved it. I want it again. If we're ever getting pizza at the apartment, like for some thing we're doing, I wouldn't mind getting a couple of these. hundred percent. You know, I mean, damn, they're big slices too. It's not thin crust either. It's it's not thin thick, crust. Those are thicker pieces, pan pizza. So uh, all right, guys, that's another pizza review. Uh, 800 Here, degrees. Let me do this. Last time you did it all lazy when I carried it inside, it wasn't <laughs> properly closed. Well, sorry about that. Uh, I didn't do that on purpose. I just did that out of stupidity. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video if you're a patron. So please sign up, supports the show so much, and you get more episodes. It's only $2.50 per week for that episode, if you think about it. Uh, and you get a bunch of other perks as well. So sign up, see you tomorrow, and thanks for rocking with us. Bye.